Hi guys, it's Jessica and today I wanted to show you how I crocheted this Diagonal Diamonds Woven Throw. Um, I named it Diagonal Diamonds because it's a basket weave but the weave is kind of slanted so these look a little bit like diamonds and it's super cool. It makes a really nice thick fabric for an afghan um, because it's kind of double-sided. Um, and so I wanted to show you how to do it today. So let's get started. So all you'll need is um, some skeins of a chunky weight yarn. I used this Color Made Easy in shade and a size K crochet hook. To make the blanket um, about a good size, which is around 35 inches by 45 inches, so like a, a small throw or lap gan, I like to call it, um, you will chain 118 to start. But today, for the sake of time, I'm just going to chain um, the stitch count that you need to do and just make it a lot smaller so we can get through a few rows, but you will just do these same repeats for the entire afghan. For this sample, I'm going to chain 16 stitches. You need to do, um, you can make it any size, but it has to be a multiple of six plus four extra stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's my multiple of six and then four extras. One, two, three, four. Okay. And for the blanket that I have on my blog, the Diagonal Diamonds Woven Throw, again, you're going to chain 118 stitches. For row one, we're going to begin by making a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Okay, so one, two, three, there's my third double crochet. Then we're going to skip three chains, so one, two, three, and work a treble into the next three. So yarn over once, twice, and work that treble crochet into the next three. There's two. And three. Okay, so next we're going to work, we're going to go back to these skipped stitches and work treble crochets into each of those three skipped stitches or chain stitches from the front. So it looks kind of funky. This first row is probably the hardest of all of them and then it gets super easy and you just repeat um, rows two and three over and over, but stay with me. So treble crochet into that first skipped stitch from the front. So there's one. Now I'm going to work into the second skipped stitch. There's two. And the third skipped stitch right here. Three. Okay. So next we're just going to repeat skipping three chains and working a treble into the next three. So one, two, three. Okay. And now we go back to these skipped three and work a treble into each of the three skipped chains. There's one. Two. And 
and three. All right, and then we have one stitch left at the end here, and we are just going to double crochet into that last stitch. Okay, so we have just completed row one. That's probably the toughest row, and then we will move on to row two. Next, chain two and turn for row two. We're going to double crochet in that same stitch as the chain two, There's one, and then you're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, three. Then you're going to skip three stitches and work treble crochets into the next three. One, two, three. And now we're going to go back and work our trebles into the skipped three stitches here from the back rather than the front like last time we're going to work from the back so you kind of turn it like this okay so there's one You're kind of working behind the fabric here two and three. Okay. So that is how you work from the back. And then you just repeat that across the row where you're skipping the three, chain, three stitches, working a treble, and then going back and working the trebles into the skipped stitches. Okay, until you get to the end of the row, and because I worked such a short row, we're already there. You're just going to work four double crochets in the last four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So now we have row one and row two complete. Next, we will chain two, turn for row three. We are going to work a double crochet in that same stitch as the chain two. And then we will skip our three stitches, one, two, three, and work in treble crochet into the next three. So one, Two, three. And now we go back to those skipped stitches and we're going to work from the front rather than the back and work a treble crochet into each of those skipped stitches. So one, two, three, okay, and just repeat this. So we're going to skip the next three, one, two, three, treble into the next three, one, two, three, and then go back working into the front again 
and treble into the skipped three. One. Two. And three. Okay, and you just continue repeating that across the row again, skipping three, working three trebles, and then going back and working into the skip stitches. And then we're just going to double crochet into this last stitch of the row. So now all you do for the entire blanket is repeat rows two and three. And you just keep those two going for as long as you want until your blanket is as long as you want. And it's that simple. I would say row one is the toughest and then also working um, from the back is the first time, but once you get that, that's easy and it's very repetitive and easy and makes a really nice thick fabric. It's sort of double-sided because the um, stitches cross over one another. So I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.